Our income is like, look at that income. We're making more than a million a day. And then we're spending a lot on operations. But yeah, I think the big part of the stuff is construction over here. Yeah, because the construction is kind of holding us back. But if we're remaining on the same budget while doing construction, that means we're in a pretty decent spot here. Now, let's, uh, let's start um, by seeing how wide are we going to do this. We're on the wrong... We're on the wrong level. Did you resign the store contracts? Um, uh, oh, mm, I did not. They maybe just ran out. I wonder if there's an issue with that. Let's open one of these and see what, what we can do. Let's open Valentino over here and see if those, uh, if those notifications comes back, comes back in. I'll let it be for now, just the one, and see what, what happens there. Um, okay, we're on the ground floor. We're going to run our terminal building up here. Um, I think about eight wide is about the right the right one for us. Uh, maybe we'll do ten. We'll do ten wide and we'll go up here a massive amount. Okay, let's just start it off and see if, if we're in fact happy with that sizing. So if we do that, right... And I'm kind of, we will do double level, of course. Um, so if we do that, now I'll just see if we... Frag B, you just woke up? Well, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. So if we do something like that, right? That operation should work fairly well, shouldn't it? I think so. I think that the sizing there is also pretty good. Um, yeah, I think I think that's going to be an awesome little terminal. I think that's going to be an awesome little terminal. Let's um, let's put one in there so that we kind of get a feel for just how many we're going to be able to grab. Four hundred thousand. Okay, there's one. So we'll get a second one. Two, three. Four, I believe that's about the right spot there. It's dark, so I can't really see. F maybe five. We can maybe do five big gates on here. And then what we can do is I'm tempted that we do maybe medium. Um, oh, yes, that's the other one, right? That we do maybe medium um, gates to the uh, medium remote stands, a couple. We'll see. We'll see. We'll leave it like that for now. Um, this is all still. Let's just make sure everything is closed. I don't want any detail problems with that. Are we getting notifications again? I think it's quiet. Yeah, it's quiet. There's another one. Any issues? This isn't on. Uh, this hasn't opened yet. Who's having issues here? Can't reach a job site. Why are you... Why are you want to... Oh. But see, this is what I don't understand. These are associated... Ah. Is it because I closed them down? But you should really be able to reach your job site, right? So maybe that is the whole situation here. It is those little stores that's wanting to collect people from the other side. Um, let's see our terminal layout just one more time. Really... You should just not use them, right? And you can walk through there. It's not like there's no walking path that we've created. There is a walking path that's available to you. So I think there is a little bit of a something going on there that I'm not too too familiar with. If that's the case, we'll just uh, we'll just close that store. Okay. Back what we're trying to build over here. Um, I want us to make sure that we make a little bit of money as well every now and again. Just so that we can continue to uh, to construct stuff, but anyway, we won't be won't be doing tons of that. Um, let's uh, try and extend it all the way to where we want to want it to go. I'm trying to zoom out as best possible. Uh, if we run it up to let's run it up to about in line with our with our taxiway over here, uh, something like that maybe. That's a lot of money, but there we go. And built. Now, that's the first level, right? Now we have to do that again for the next level. 
and we won't be able to afford the next level just yet but what we can do is we can do a start and get our security set up in place here okay so let's uh what am i doing i'm doing this we'll make a start over here okay we'll uh clear this out okay now with our uh security zoning let's uh let's make sure to extend it over there and then we'll run security zoning into this direction and all the way let's uh let's make sure to overlap it a little bit i'm not sure if it does anything but just in case so there it goes there goes the secure zone then i want to start the international zone from um from here also and we'll extend this as the international zone so we'll start it off at that point over there and we will get ourselves some of these uh these fancy international things. So what we'll do is we'll start it off with actually from this side so we can do a little bit of a queue. Um, I'm tempted to do that, right? Yeah, let's do that. So let's do about four of them and then the rest will be... And for some reason we'll probably have to do... Mm, I don't know. We won't need, let's see if we need to do a secure exit up here. I don't, maybe we won't have to. And now we'll just run the rest out like that. So this, does this look a little funnier? No, I think that looks absolutely right. Okay, so we'll do some of that. So that's about six of them. Let's, uh, let's copy and paste that. And we'll do, now there's 12. And now there's a little more of them. There we go. So that's uh, moving through into the international zone there. Uh, what we'll do is we'll put some hedges in here and we'll we'll leave a little bit of room for um, further improvement. Um, further expansion and improvement over there should we want to do that. But they, that should get a lot of people to run into this direction. I'm going to do a slightly different thing with our queues over here. So I'll do um, something like that. We'll do a similar thing up to about there, a similar thing. Um, I just want to make sure that we, in fact, get it uh, to be about the same, um, go to the same end. They're obviously different lengths. Uh, I just want to get that one up to about there. There we go. So that's our secure zone stuff here. Well, let's get some fancy flowers or stuff in here. These guys are going to be awesome. And if we offset them a little like this, they are going to be cool. Let's do... Nice. Here we go. How about that? How about that? Does that look cool? I like it. I like it. I I actually like it. Okay, there we go. So that's, that's pretty awesome there. Well, it looks okay. Um, I'm thinking, who's, who's still giving us notification problems here? Employee, let's just double check that. It's again, it's again the, these guys, right? So it's the guys that has to work over here that can't, but some of them got here. So I just, I have no idea. I have no idea. But what is, what is um, very telling is that the metro is definitely good enough if you don't provide all the other stuff. The queues here are looking are working a little bit better now. With all the seating, people are actually and where are they going? It does work a little bit better. I'm gonna put the lighting in here and put some more seating in here and see if that whole thing improves the situation even further. But there's still some stuff that feels a little funny. Are you going to put hedges near the queues like MFI? Uh, yeah, I, I probably will. I probably will do all kinds of stuff uh, over, well, yeah, over there. Yeah, I will. I think I'm pretty sure I'll do that. Uh, tons of notifications now. Let's just see what's going on. Passenger can't check in, make sure. Where is this at? Uh, every now and again, it seems to be working and then not working and then working and then what 
So there's a little bit of an issue going on over here. Guys, you need to remember this is still an early access though, so that we, they will still run into, into problems every now and again, but there it goes. So it was just, I don't know, a matter of, I don't know why it wasn't working for, 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 the, for the minute there. How's our money? Our money is uh, coming along much slower than I would have expected. Uh, what I'll do is I'll extend this terminal up here a little bit so that we can kind of work on the concept of, of this, uh, this gate. So let's get rid of that. Uh, these guys will be getting through here into the international zone. Um, let's upgrade this piece. Um, ooh, this needs to be secure though. Let's make sure to extend uh, the secure zone as much as we can. Uh, up there. There we go. And the international zone also. We'll extend that also. There we go. Now, let's uh, upgrade this guy to get a jetway. Nice. Let's double check our secure zone through here. And... So that's the secure zone. And let's do the international zone as well. Just make sure that that is in fact sorted out. If we put on the, the zoning in general and we go down a level, is this supposed to be... I don't think we can make this an international zone. Anyway, that's okay. We'll do something like that. Now, let's get some of the infrastructure in place that we're going to need over here. So we'll definitely need a little road to run some vehicles. So that's awesome. I'm kind of wondering about how we're going to deal with the remote stand stuff, but I'll, I'll sort that out over there. Now, okay, let's go upstairs and see. Okay, this, uh, again, we will have, okay, we will have, let's get the, the walled pieces in here. So, you know what? It's going to look even nicer than the walled section is if we do some of those plants because we have those four, this four problem in here. So, if we do that, right, and we place... I'm tempted that we do something like that. This is going to be the exit channel. That is the entry piece. So let's get our gates over here. Uh, not this, not this. It's going to be boarding. No, 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 boarding. Boarding. Over there. There we go. Boarding stuff. So if we do, I want to, yeah, slot it in like this, right? Is four enough is my question. I think four should probably be enough. Maybe a fifth. Let's do a fifth. Fifth. Five of them. And instead of going with the walls this time around, we'll just go with some more of these nice planter boxes. Right? Looks like a jungle. It would be like Singapore Shangi International Airport. Looks like a jungle as you go there. Fernando! Hello Chaos, how are you? I came from your YouTube channel. Well, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to the stream. I'm very happy to have you here. Okay, now let's do... We obviously want to do... Um, I think something like that is about, is about what we want. Um, oh, can't do different secure zones. Yes, of course not. Of course not. So what we'll need to do is we will need to provide a little slither of secure zone over here. Um, yeah, and then the question is where exactly do we run that? Well, we'll just run it straight down there. And then maybe pass it around that way. Yeah, that's okay. So let's get ourselves a little bit of... Ooh, what we need to bear in mind, of course, is that we need a, a fairly large um, international passport control... Um, section somewhere. So we'll just open up these walls for the time being. Now let's get a big secure zone in place here. We'll just do a little something like this as a starting point. We'll extend it a little more. Uh, we want to make it also an international zone. Uh, something like that. There we go. And now we'll uh, provide ourselves with uh, the escalator. Uh, what was my, my spacing was about five, right? One, two, three, four, five. So something like that. Uh, oh, anyway, I have to plan it from the bottom up. There we go. There we go. That's it. And again, what we'll do is we will just kind of block that out with some of these plants and see if that is kind of a good, good way of doing it. We can use the hedges, but I'm 
kind of just going to try something a little different over here. And then maybe we'll just grab the hedge and finish off that little section over there. Or, or the hedge looks a little funny compared to the other green. Maybe what we'll do instead is grab some of uh, these guys, which is going to be fairly similar. There we go. Ah, it looks okay. Um, idea for remote stands, maybe have service parking lots near the remote gates and assign some vehicles to the stands and parking lots so there is less traffic. Absolutely, I think that's a very good idea. With the big stands, it really does start seem to make a difference if you then start actually assigning the stuff here. Okay, so now we need to put some benches and stuff in here. So if we go with seating, what color seating should uh, Terminal 3 be? Chat, let me know what color you would like uh, for the theme of the seating for Terminal 3. I'll quickly go back and see if stuff is still working over here. Yeah, that is causing problems yet again. I might just not reopen them at all. Um, over here, we are starting to see some big queues with all of these, with all of these guys. The check-in here seems to be working. They're less, they're less using these guys. They're more doing that. And then security-wise, it's working, no problems over here. Are all of these working? Oh, we probably need new franchises over there. So let's just grab whatever we can in here. Maybe Crane's Burgers. Oh, we can't do Crane's Burgers. What can we do? Bell Beer. We'll get that one in place here. Maybe that does in fact work here. Uh, we'll get another kind of traveler shop over here. I don't, could have probably gotten a better one than that. And then something like wine and cheese back in over there. That They, they generate a fair bit of money though. So having them closed is a bit of a, a dilemma. Okay, so purple that is. Math kit purple is what we're going to use. So um, let's grab ourselves a nice purpley color for the seating. Uh, something like that and we will save a preset over there nice and let's just yeah purple is in fact the color that we're using now with this international zone over here why is it saying it doesn't have any security pieces in it should have it um i'm gonna set it back something like this there we go but we need to bear in mind oops that's not quite right we need to bear in mind that we need a ton more seating for these guys so we'll do something like this that should be about enough for it um, we're gonna go ahead and put some some other bits and pieces in there so like a couple of these bins maybe that's uh, I think that's okay for now we'll see I'm tempted to use the other part of this underlying area here for the lounges actually. So we'll we'll come back and see how we're going to do that. And we may do a lounge for each one of these gates and then put them to specific pieces. You still don't have customs on the exit. Ah, oh, you're correct. We still don't have customs on the exit. So let's in fact do that. And I'm going to do use exactly the same piece over here. Um, okay, we've got yeah, it's exactly exactly right. That's where we're at. Um, I'm gonna go and grab these guys. Must be connected to. Oh, must be secure on the other side. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. That's okay. Yeah, I was kind of what is going on. I'll do that, and then we will kind of do do this oh this entire area will actually be secure ultimately but let's give it a little bit more room like so and like so and we'll just get some walls in there because this area will be the the baggage handling area and then this will be our uh, secure exits out over here so let's just see uh, about getting our secure exits in place here One, two secure exits over there into this area where baggage claim will happen. That's awesome. Now let's uh, go back and get our our guys in here. So we'll start off with these guys. Uh, so we'll do about four of them over there, and then we'll do the uh, the automated ones. 
we'll then do the automated ones. So, oh, really? Oh, do I have them the wrong way around? <laughs> Whoops. Let's uh, let's try and do that again, shall we? That's why things didn't make didn't make sense to me, did it? Okay, it's this way around. Here we go. That looks weird. And now it's pulling it back a little bit, which is okay. We can pull it back as long as we... Wow, okay. Well, let's trim, let's trim the international zone back a little bit. There we go, trim it back. Get that one in place. Can you work now? Now you want the line to go all the way over there. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim it back again from over here. And what we'll do is we will, uh, because I want them to line up a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. That's the, that's the stuff. Oh, potentially. I'm just thinking about it. So how many do we have here now? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got ten of them over there. Up here we've got a little bit more. Um, so let's, how many do we have here? One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we need eight more to have a kind of a, a on par number for inbound and outbound. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. That is about it. But I do think that we probably need to trim back um, the secure area over here. So that they all kind of work together in the same way. TQ Super, welcome to the stream. Have you opened the first two terminals? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is our current uh, schedule. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where's our flight schedule? Open up our flight schedule. So it is open. We're getting tons of flights. We don't have that many small planes, but we have tons of flights coming in. We could probably get a few more contracts going on. You still don't have? Yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. So that's going on. This this terminal is now working really a lot better, uh, apart from the fact that we can't seem to get any workers here. It's really an interesting uh, situation that we find ourselves in. Okay, so if we look at this, we're working on our secure zone over here. Um, again, what I'll do is I will go and grab some of these fancy stuff like so yeah absolutely works quite nicely over there so now we can get people out through customs and or passport control and back to baggage claim over there and now also i believe if we look at this yeah that is now actually working uh passport checkpoint entry passport checkpoint exit okay excellent looks like the terminal one the staff room is turned off again oh, really it's a that's a that's a frustration it is in fact turned off again. I don't know why this happens. It causes delays. And maybe that is part of this problem. I have no idea. I have no idea. It is uh, big raining at my place. Just imagine when bad weather will have effect in airport CEO. Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to, to the incidents. Managing incidents and having redundancies for incidents and things like that would be, would be really cool. So I, I do, I do really, I, I really can't wait for that, that to start happening. I like the setup that we've got going on over here now. This one over here could be a little bit problematic. And so what I might do is I might actually just run it up here instead. Just a little bit more. So I'll do that. We'll get our little belt. We'll go up here a little bit more. And then we'll run it over there a little bit. And once we clear that line, we'll, we'll dump it down. Awesome. Awesome stuff, right? I think our degrees of separation, our separation here is going to be really nice. Here we've got all of it coming in. We can do a very nice little, um, uh, a very nice uh, security, uh, baggage security thing going on here. We can have staff, well, the staff in here. And, uh, and then we can have the service vehicles enter and pick up stuff and we'll have like four baggage bays and they can then connect to that side. Yeah, I think all of that will actually work quite really quite well. My understanding is that um, 
that that incidents will be coming with uh, with Alpha. Oh no no, they're not coming with Alpha thirty six. They're coming after um, the end of early access, I believe. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong on that one, but I think I think that's my understanding of the situation. Okay, so that's looking good. Our money is slowly starting to creep back in. Um, the next thing um, as concept that I would like to do, in fact, is um, do, the, do the whole um, lounge area. So the situation that I have is that I'm going to put uh, something like this, right? I'm going to grab us. us uh, so let's rotate that. Something like that is, is kind of my plan here. And if we do that and we slot it in over there, I want that to drop into into like a into like a lounge. That's that's the idea. So over here on this side, we will have the um, the secure channel. So let's just switch that off for a little bit. We'll have the secure channel that will have uh, walker lighters in there. So we'll do something like up to there, and we'll run it through that way. And we'll have the walker lighters run and, and add people to the secure exit channel into this area. And then on this side, we will have ourselves some awesome lounge areas. And this could be one massive lounge, to be honest. This entire area could be a, a massive lounge. So what we could do is we could just go ahead and maybe paint ourselves a lounge. Let's uh, get rid of that overlay. Uh, we'll paint ourselves a lounge like maybe say something like that and that and that could be like a massive lounge for this gate over here just don't forget to negotiate better fees um, to give the lounge I don't think you can negotiate in this game some airport you can negotiate, but I don't think you can negotiate the contracts, can you? Let's quickly have a look. If we go to the contracts, uh, if we get accepted contracts, can we potentially go and speak to these guys? Now we can cancel the contract, we can't get anything else. If we go to someone new, can we say maybe come Wildcat Air or something? There's no way for us to actually negotiate this one. So I believe, I don't believe you can actually negotiate those contracts over here. So then that's the lounge over there. And even within the lounge, what we'll do is we'll do some bathrooms at the back over here somewhere. I want to see if we can actually do that. So if I say um, the bathroom zone. Yeah, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, so it is some airport then. Um, I want to do, uh, we don't need massive bathrooms, but something like that, maybe. That will be massive. And we can, in fact, put them in here. So, let's, uh, 10 by 6. You know, I don't want them to be too crazy big. 10 by 6 by 14. And then 6 by 11, by 12. So, no, let's, uh, let's, uh, oops, let's close that one out. Yes, and then let's try it one more time. Um, so 13, I think, is about the right number. No, not that. So 13. Um, 13 will be the one over here, and 13 will be that one over there. So there we go. Now, we need... Um, oh, and we'll obviously put some walls in there, too. So let's grab our walls, and we'll just run our wall over there. And now that I'm looking at it, we need the wall to come through over here. Uh, that's going to be a bummer to try and figure out. Let's just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we'll have to do like two rows of them over there, actually. To be honest, um, it's a little weird. But um, actually, what we can do, I'm just thinking, what we can do is we can do something like this. And it'll be, it'll be a little weird, funny, funny business stuff going on there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that'll work. Anyway, regardless, we will then put the rest of the stuff in place here. Can I just switch off some of these overlays so we can see? My goodness, in that section, you just can't see it. 
any anything, can you? There we go. So that's uh, that's a nice big bathroom going on right over there. We'll go and make sure we get ourselves a nice access door over here, and we will get the other bits and pieces. 